Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepherd, and it's the 3rd of March, 2012. Let's take a look at some Fayetteville, Arkansas photos that suggest winter didn't happen. Okay, Ozark Natural Foods uh, booth, and uh, next to it, another group. There you see people at the Dig In Festival. I meant to get the, the big sign first, but it may turn out to be last as I do these things. And that group's with the, the uh, seeds <sighs> feed uh, group. Terrible picture. Okay, so one of the things in bloom this week, you, you have a lot of... Uh, Fruit trees have been in bloom for, in some cases, a week or two, and I can't identify them all, so I just um, let you sort out whether they're plums, peaches, pears, or blah, blah. Anyhow, that was a town branch that cleared up after being muddy for days and days. That cleared up on a Sunday afternoon. Suggests the people working at the high school took the day off because they've, they've apparently been pumping out some muddy water into the town branch. Tiny, tiny wildflowers. Sorry I didn't stick my thumb in that picture to show you how tiny these are. And uh, the nice thing is these, even though some are not the native species that we usually show, are very important this time of year because the bees start using them. I believe we may see part of a honeybee left in this picture, but maybe not. You will see honeybees in some. Grasshoppers were out today. This is the 3rd of March, 2012. There is one that's green, very tiny, and that uh, clover-like, uh, well, that should remind you of, of St. Patrick's Day coming up this month. But anyhow, there's a brown uh, grasshopper. Of course, maybe that's just because he's sitting on a brown leaf instead of on a green stem. Maybe the same kind, for all I know. It's a shorthorned type of grasshopper in, in both cases, I believe. There's the green one again, or a different one in the grass on the 3rd of, of, of March. Honeybees. You don't see them out every day this time of year, but uh, this year they have been out more days than expected this early. And that's a blurry one, but you see they're shopping. You don't get to see them often sit still when they're just shopping. If they find something that's producing a lot of nectar, then uh, they'll stay on it. But they weren't staying on it much today. Okay, that's uh, the red thing is the Lonicera sempervirens. I've been amazed for more than a week. It's been blooming. And normally I don't see those until April. And there's one that hasn't fully bloomed yet. You can see... Uh, it's uh, uh, trumpet-shaped leaves and then uh, at the end, and then there you see the trumpet-shaped flower end that's actually open. So it's also called trumpet honeysuckle or coral honeysuckle. <clears throat> that's flowering quince. Those have been in bloom longer than most anything in Fayetteville so far this year. Till next time, it's Aubrey Sherwood asking you to do your part to help keep the air pure woods green and the water clean. Gotta mix it up. Hello, it's Aubrey Shepard on the 3rd of March 2012 and a, a few more pictures from things going on in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Okay, the top bar bee houses. This lady's a beekeeper and I guess makes those herself. I didn't get to talk to her enough. I've seen her before. But uh, people keep honeybees, <coughs> excuse me, to pollinate. That's the only reason they're in the United States, to pollinate. There are many, many other native pollinators. They don't get as much attention. And because the native plants are wiped out of so many areas, especially big farms, And these are just some other conservationists. These are so many of the usual suspects. But the good thing about this particular environmentally oriented, uh, nature oriented, uh, natural food big day called the dig in was that 
there were people I'd never seen before actually there. That means somebody's coming who isn't already in favor of these things or not well educated on these th things. You can see Bean Mountain Farms and just a lot of people showed their produce and, and products. Here's an interesting sign. Please place the forks here so we can wash and reuse. They're talking about plastic forks. And of course, a lot of people do that occasionally, but uh, it's seldom you see somebody advocating it openly. Compost, food, plates, napkins, clear cups, coffee cups. One of the little educational things there, and, and they had uh, products that uh, were uh, compostable. And here we go. Now, finally, the big sign, and it was out front, and of course, it was an all day until nine o'clock at night or after, and uh, a great event. And there are some, uh, I forgot the sign that goes with theirs, but uh, those folks were also showing some wonderful things. Of course, there's J Joyce Hale at left, and uh, Jody Nimmo at right, and Joyce is the uh, leader of the League of Women Voters, and they provide lots of important facts for consideration of the voters. So that's just one of the things coming up. Now, one of the insects that was out on Saturday, uh, the first, and that's a uh, the uh, morning cloak butterfly. Very beautiful species. Not rare, but it depends on trees like hackberries and some others, and I seldom get a picture of them, and to get one this early in the spring was wonderful. That's holly, and those are the flowers of a holly tree. I don't know which species of holly it is, Native American or otherwise. Another uh, plant growing from bulbs. Uh, I don't know, I can't always call the names of those. Either it doesn't matter, they're beautiful. And it's great to see them so early in the year. Till next time, I'll be sure for asking you to do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See ya.